Hello and welcome to Late Night Just Grasp, where it is uh, currently 10 p.m. here and 12 p.m. for our co-host here uh, as we watch F9 Triple S uh, versus Download as we are nearing the end of the loser side of bracket, as we're nearing the end of the bracket in general, and I am joined by Donut here today. Hi, Donut. Indeed, welcome hello. Back. Thanks for having me, Mr. Leo. Yeah, I am the not-so-mystery uh, co-host for this evening's perclutivities, and we shall see what happens here in this exciting matchup against F9 and Mickey D's, also known as Rai Ha Ha Ha. Yeah, I just hope uh, the audience is ready to watch us uh, fail all the Arakune interactions again. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, dude, I'm, re I'm ready. I'm ready to to uh, to get my ass in gear, dude. I'm ready to turn on the brain burner and just uh, make sure that all the rulings are correct. Like, <laughs> every time, every time, and without fail. So, I mean, place your bets, kids, at home. Uh, how many uh, rules and fractions will there be in Arakune? <laughs> <laughs> True. This is the uh, this is the late night Arakune, the dreaded late night Arakune. Indeed. This is the character and, yeah, you I never mean... want to see when when you're tired. You need like fifty. <laughs> co you need like the whole pot of coffee to face this character. <laughs> Genuinely, like let's see. Uh, he said in the chat, yeah. Uh, F nine is like, hold up, let me get some tea. So this better be like some Irish fucking, you know, <laughs> some Irish, Irish tea. breakfast tea. You better you better get the double dosage. You better get the espresso of tea to uh to get that brain power going. All right. Well, they flipped the coin to start draft, but uh, they haven't started draft, so I'm going to just believe. Well, time for the prediction. Uh, F9 is going to pick Arakune, Leo, and Kai, and Download is going to pick Bison and two other characters that they keep, or they decided to start mixing up on us recently. It used to be Bison, Chip, and Axel, and recently it switched from that to Bison something, or I think it was like Bison Lychee and something else last time. Or Milia, that's what it was. I'm seeing some hovering, some interesting hovering. Well, there's, there's the, the bison, tried and true yeah. bison. And then we got Arakune Kai. What is the Arakune Kai? Yep. Predictions as the scripting is working. There's the Milia. The Milia the Rage. Bison. There it goes. There goes the bison. M. Bison on the table. Mr. Bison. All right, who's going to be the third character? Is it going to be... I see a bunch of Season 5 hovering, and I keep seeing it over, like, the other side, and I keep getting excited, and then I realize we're probably not going to get any of the four characters that are being hovered on the other side. Oh, is that Season yep. 4? Is that Enchantress? Oh, it is Enchantress. It is Enchantress. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. This M. Bison, Millia, Rage, for... Enchantress. I mean, that's a pretty rounded team comp, actually. I do like it. And what will be the final counter pick from F9? Well, download or uh, F9's been playing the same team the entire tournament, and uh, uh, download decided to recently switch it up, starting with the last time, and they just switched up again um, yeah. with the third character. But Bison's been their staple this entire tournament, so I fully expect to see Bison come out first from uh, download, regardless of what happens here. If we don't see the Bison first, I'll be <laughs> shocked. <laughs> Uh. Flipping coins for fun before they pick their characters. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that was about. It is, uh... Well. It's Bison. There he is, Mr. Bison. Purple power. The purple people eater himself. You know him, you love him, you hate him. Resource Purple monster. Dude. Bison versus and Kai is what we're seeing. The bluest of Shotos, who will probably poke away at Bison for a decent amount of time and change. You know, he's got that, uh, Rides of Lightning, which you never play, but you do boost, even though it is a great uh, ultra. Yeah. But Thunder Seal is also a great boost as well. <laughs> Whenever you look at Season 7, it's always the question of how well does your character deal against the action compression that comes from Season 7? As people have brought out in the past, the way you beat Season 7 is you just simply win strikes and they don't get gauge and they don't get to play the game because they don't get to do their action compression. But that's uh, easier said than done, especially when uh, opponents have these slow options. Kai being a well-rounded character, of course, isn't going to have too terrible of a time into Bison, but I mean, Bison's game plan is going to stay relatively the same. Stay at range 2-3 to three and just blow up the opponent. Because Kai does not have enough guard or stuff to actually survive anything, especially without that boost called Faith. Faith is like the only thing that will help you survive 
maybe something in guard. Actually, it doesn't even help Psycho. You save Psycho Punisher. Never mind. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so just yeah. If you're at range three, I mean, problem is is that you range three as Kai. You could toss something like the Sacred Edge, but I mean, the Sacred Edge actually doesn't beat the options that is being threatened at range three, which is pretty unfortunate. So, moral of the story is, don't be at range three. Just don't. It's gonna, it's gonna be bad. Be at range two. But of course, Kai's that's game, Kai's game plan anyways, because Vapor Thrust mm -hmm. exists. So. I fully expect this to be a range 2 brawl and Bison trying to be at range 3 as much as possible because Bison wins range 3 much more than he does range 2. Until both Ain't Vapor Thrust are gone. Yep. And the good news for Kai is that he's got that micro movement. Dude can uh, advance retreat 1 with all his cancels. So really it is a question of just don't let Kai get his resource engine going. Because once he does, he gets all that bullshit. He gets to step in, step out. Oh, here's Holy Orders. Plus 1 speed, he can advantage. Oh, I'm going to smack you for fucking 5. Okay, my advantage. I'm gonna smack you again. Oh wait, I gotta get canceled here because I hit you with something, right? So that's the that's the that's the Kai dream. Whereas Bison can kind of just uh, afford to sit at range three, do his Bison prep, charge up, and then just unleash the beast with a nightmare booster, or Psycho Punisher. Oh, and turn one strike, going right in. Dive in focus. Interaction. Gets into range one. Probably looking to stop Bison's uh, engine before it starts. Because Bison will just sit there and build his entire gauge up until he's ready to hit you with one of his EX Ultras. Uh, but if you're in his face, you're actually making him do something, potentially, so I don't completely disagree with this. Um, it also allows Kai, like you're talking about, to cancel, and then he can go to range 2, which is where he wants to be, specifically for stuff like Vapor Thrust, because it always causes a mix-up. Are you going to play something fast and get Vapor Thrust, or are you going to play something slow and get Diary Plotted? Uh, retreat two, take another action strike, critical strike, range Damn. three. Um, <laughs> uh, just gonna have to hold this whack ass mix up, dude. You could get stomped. You could get a, uh, could get somersaulted. Yeah, I mean, unless this is a super bait, I'm almost certain you can just sweep here and be fine. Unless this is a super bait spike, it's a super bait spike. But it doesn't matter anyway. We called the it super bait spike. Out. I respect that. All right. Respect. No fear. No fear of the head stomp or anything. No. Nope. Yep. Sweep is a safe option there. So you call the spike out with this ult. Makes sense to me. Perfect. All right. How did he know? Part of part of the mix up game of Exceed. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a mix up. Range 1, uh, Bison doesn't want to be here. Bison doesn't like range 1. Nobody likes range... Or Bison, yeah, Bison just hates range My 1. My dude's just mashing on curve. Mashing the on curve. I'm mashing the on curve. He doesn't give a single flying fuck. He's all like, you know what? I'm at this range. Ooh, there goes the Thunder Seal, also known as Rides the Lightning. Yeah, there goes the Ride the Lightning. It's actually insanely funny there. Actually, no, Ride the Lightning still doesn't, or still gets beaten out by Psycho Punisher, man, imagine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the one thing Faith is good for, is if you play Faith, you don't get beaten by Psycho Punisher. There we go. Yep, oh, yeah. he's, got the, he's got the resources. I mean, that's why he's been mashing on curve. Just, you know, literally might as well flip, and then he gets reloaded with your hand. That's pretty, pretty pog. Yeah. We're just sitting, staring Bison down in the face, 20 to 20. Uh, Bison, quite a few gauge away from where he wants to be. He need, his ultras cost four gauge, even though they say, th even though they're printed three, and he has plenty of criticals he wants to use. So, I mean, Kai sitting at this range is perfectly fine, especially since Bison's not going to be critting anything soon. Uh, I mean, even at range one, Bison's range one options aren't exactly the best in the world. So, you just got to not die to slows, and you're pretty fine here. The story of XE, don't die the slows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't take six or uh, you know, don't 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 have a bad delta. Is is the don't, ultimate story of XC. Just don't, don't have don't. a bad delta, man. Just have a good one. You know, he's uh, running a billion light years away. <laughs> I think uh, advanced three. There sorry. we go. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not that's not bison yeah. teleport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had a bit of the brain lag. Don't worry. We got it. We got to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's not Bison Teleport. That was correct for Bison Teleport, but not for but not for Cross. 
All right, we're at range three. This is where we want to be. Kai doesn't want to be here. Kai needs to either go back in or cancel something and then go back in. Or, you know, play EX Stun Dipper because you can. Or you can just go balls out and just play the range three mix up. How bad can it possibly be? <laughs> just play the Stun Edge, kids. Yep. Oh, uh, area, area shift. Area All shift, right. canceling, drawing one. Go and into the range corner. one. Okay. And then we're gonna mash. Oh yeah. What are we doing at range one? Yeah, Another we... sweep. Into the sweep. Sweep for sweep. Okay. Alright. Bison out both sweeps. Down a block. I think we're gonna see some bison dollars here. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> being, being out of block is kind of unfortunate because yeah. uh especially going down to like lower HP, being out of block isn't great. Uh, gets rid of a spike from Kai. Seeing Bison Dollars. Yeah, I'd like to see Bison Dollars here, but judging by how there's just a dive engage, we don't have Bison Dollars, so we're depressed. So we're, we're kind of impoverished Bison here. <laughs> yeah, we're we impoverished. Need to, <laughs> we need to get those uh, coke lines running, you know? We need to, we need to start exporting real fast. <laughs> Takes a little bit for uh, for the war criminal to uh, get going, but once he does, man, the dude's got cash. Oh, yeah. do we have it? We're we're not we're not getting as much product rotated as we'd like to in our factories. We don't have as much of that Shadowloo intelligence coming in. <laughs> yeah, no, we are, we are illiterate. We don't have Shadowloo intelligence. We're not fight, fighting the uh, the Kenzai way of uh, production. You know, this guy did not get his uh his bachelor's degree in economics. Bachelor's this bison. <laughs> uh, this bison is um is in the lower class. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this bison from streets. streets. The street bison. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, at least he has four gauge, so he does have some. He has he has his savings in the bank. He's got the hand me down or the saving his his dad savings in the bank there. All right, he's cashing it out. Yep, and now now he's uh, he's breaking the, the bank. The, yep, the trust fund. Maybe he just doesn't like. Wow, getting rid of both grass and both cross. So this guy is not mashing on curve unless he has uh, like a head stop or something. But still, so actually, I mean now now Kai really wants to be at range one or two since he's out all of his uh, above curve options. Yeah, Bison sitting at range 1 is uh, getting ready to threaten that EX Psycho Punisher here soon. But, I mean, I wonder if he has it. He's been kind of, like, slamming a bunch of stuff into Gage, so it's very, like, if... I mean, that's the main th threat you're worried about, is EX Psycho Punisher here. EX Crit Psycho Punisher, because uh, you're one gauge away, here comes the Scramble. Scrambled yeah. eggs. Scrambled eggs. You know there's no more, um... There's no more sweeps in the deck, but there's still two focuses in the deck. Stay in at range one. Yeah, stay in at range one. Um, See in the EX. EX. Is this just EX Dire E Club? Bison choosing not to believe in the crit. This very well could just be EX Dire E Club. I mean, it's pretty dang good. Six power, five speed. Especially when both crosses and grass are down. I mean, yeah, this is actually pretty dang good. Critting it. There it is. Oh no! Yeah, that's kind of bye bye. Sayonara, EX Psycho Punisher. Maybe next shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. Diary Clat will slam oh, sliding pick out of here. Take six. Yeah, I mean, critting that is pretty. Whatever. I mean, you don't really have that great of range one crits to be honest, especially when you know something like that's coming. Yeah, so you I don't know how much I agree there with that. Is, uh, <laughs> you're only out there is like what somersault skull diver. Um, that's pretty not okay, not right? even. It's five speed. Yeah, yeah. but at uh, least you get the, the oh guard. yeah somersault yeah. skull diver because of the six guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is your one out. You're right. Critical somersault skull diver. Have we seen a single one of those? No, we. I don't think we've I seen. I don't think we have. Nope. Yeah. Dive into block. Dive getting into back into out of the corner. Getting another gauge. Uh, Kai, just gonna spend the... Nothing, you don't need it. Life's you know, a resource. <laughs> the life's a resource, if there's one thing I learned, you know, spend the cash. The only point of life that matters is the last one, but he will be reasonable, get rid of Sun Dipper and take Uno. Taking one. From... Taking Place. Uno from the hot, or the hit game Grand Blue Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> is there actually a character named Uno? I don't know, probably. <laughs> It's spelled it's spelled Andre, but it is spelled but it's pronounced Uno. You no bullshit, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> nice try. <laughs> Here comes the draw two, and I mean, when I say draw two, I mean draw three because it's cut, and he's gonna cancel it. That's right. Now remember, just go look up how to pronounce Andre after this match for Melo Grand Blue Fantasy yeah. first. <laughs> There's no way that guy There's is no Uno, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no I'm way. calling your bluff on that. The, the Pringles man himself. The Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> he does look like a Pringles guy. Uh -huh. That's why nobody plays him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kai moves back one to range two. Uh, That's where it wants to be. I mean, Psycho Punisher is still on the table, but it's not critical. Uh, yeah, I neither of our ultras are critical. I mean, we're in a pretty not happy spot, to be honest. But, like, what are we supposed to do? Oh, we just mash in the cycle. We mash it anyways. And I then respect dude's that. just gonna dip and say, See you later. So long, screw you. See you in St. Louis. Uh, it's advanced, or it's close two, not three. Yeah, yeah. Still hits. Yeah, seven. So power. he's looking like a smackulud for a seven. Uh, am I tripping or yep. device and move three? Uh, oh, wait, you... after advanced two. Never mind. Two, yeah. Uh, you ain't tripping. I'm not tripping. All right. Yeah, that was a good Psycho Punisher. Yeah. So he was fishing for EX Psycho Punisher, but that was a good Psycho Punisher regardless. Calling out the cross there. Uh, now we're at range one against Bison. Bison's still... Same with Somersault Skull Diver, actually. His range one isn't too terrible right now. Five power, Somersault Skull Diver's not the worst in the world, although it does lose two slows here. Actually, no, it has Ignore Armor. Never mind. It trades with uh, Focus. Which would be sad, because then he'd be Dr. Denso. Because we're getting down to the wire here, 6-5. to five. Yeah, yeah, this is the main problem, is Bison needs to find a way to do something here. Yeah, he's going to channel in the Bee Gees, you know, get that. Uh, yeah, this game's this game is Stay in the last. Although what's really funny is we haven't seen a single Vapor Thrust come out yet. But, but but we know both grasps are down for uh, mm -hmm. Bison, so playing Vapor Thrust at range 1 actually isn't terrible either. Uh, or he could just boost Holy Orders, which is really, really nice, because that way if he has a block or a slow or whatever, he just get out of it, take it the next turn, and then what does he do on a crackback? They can long oh, yeah, and hard about his next yeah, move. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Now, Holy Orders is a not-so-insane boost. Yeah. Because now it reads plus one speed, hit gain advantage, now draw one, move one, <laughs> which is really nice. <laughs> Holy Order is the other Vapor Thrust. There you go. That's the play. Holy Order is the other Vapor Thrust. That way you can get out of the corner. Dodge's focus gives you advantage. You can win next turn. Yep. You can hit him with a, with a Fondue Arc or a Stun Egg. Fondue Arc. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be Food Dread, but you cannot get it. The EX Fondue Arc. <laughs> fondue Arc, yep. He's making the, uh, he's making the, he's spinning like- No body. fear, trapping. He must really believe in his hand. We're not seeing the CC, we're not seeing the cancel. That Ori has absolute hot garbage. But is it? Because otherwise you see it. Hmm. Interesting prep. Range one, did Kai just prep while I was looking at something else? Yeah. I think Kai did just prep while I was looking at something else. Yeah. Alright, well- Yeah, he did prep. Nice. So, Kai's sitting on full hand. I mean, the Bison safest thing for you to look for here is to look for scramble. Scramble, cancel yourself yeah. out of the corner, hit him with the something that gains advantage. Do it again. Yeah. Well, actually, if you hit him with something that gains advantage, just play anything. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking for here is Kai. So. Or, or doing the fancy line I was talking about, getting out of the corner with uh, Vapor Thrust, Holy Orders. <sighs> Damn, what are you, tired? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Spent too, many, uh, too much time playing Warhammer 40k in the grim darkness of the future. There is only tiredness only <laughs> from tired. playing nothing only, but this game. Only tiredness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because it's so dark, you know? I it's think it's so cozy. I like. I, I mean, I sleep <laughs> most of it. You know, I don't know how people sleep with like a night layer or nothing, dude. I need to sleep in adject darkness. We're retreating to going back to range 3 for range head three. stomp. But we don't have any gauge. We, we don't have any crit. Stomp. I mean, I guess we still have EX head stomp, which is fine. That's still yeah, pretty true. strong. 
Yeah, but you it. still lose to like something silly like cancel vapor thrust at range two. So this is a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it uh pans out for him. Well, the other major problem here is is that uh even even so if you expect the vapor thrust, you just focus. If you expect the is there another spike for Kai? I'm pretty sure there's another spike for Kai. We saw one go down. Yeah, we saw one spike, so there's a spike. Yeah, you have to pretty much call the range 3 mix-up. Mm -hmm. You call it right with the EX head stomp into the uh, focus. Or no, 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 not the focus. The uh, spike, you just win if you call out the uh, other way, which is the focus into the vapor thrust, then you also just win. Taking a nice uh, long gander. No, gander. you don't just win because focus yeah. actually doesn't win you the game there. It almost does, but not quite. All right. Range that three. Um, Kai doesn't want to be here. That's that's the main purpose here. Kai doesn't want to be at range three. Kai doesn't do anything here at range three except die. I mean, I get the it. over the focus. GG. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. There's not enough gauge to actually play anything safe, like ride the lightning either. Right in the lightning. So that's what I really want. I want to see some here. cancels. I, I'd be, I'd be shocked if he doesn't have any good cancels here. Even something silly like a defend, you know, just allow you to move and get another card. Yeah, true. Just being able to cancel yourself mm -hmm. into range two, get yourself out of the corner or out yeah. of the corner would be great. So, uh, read any good books recently? <laughs> read any good books? <laughs> uh, you, you know what, that brings up a good point. Is we haven't seen a single reading from Bison yet. And Bison not making the YOLO reading. Nor the intelligence. Like I said, Nor the are, shadow. We are truly, we are truly... We're in uh, the dark. Just, the grim dark. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, the grim darkness. We can't read, we don't have any intelligence. It's just too dark, you know? It's just too dark. <laughs> yeah. There it to is. Do? We're seeing a badass. Badass he's draw cancel, one. Go into range Most likely two. go to range two, unless he's got the mega nuts here, which I don't know what he can have here. Uh, do you have just the crazy assault play at range three? Yeah. Oh, no, you're going to range two. Okay, good. Yep. There you go. Play the assault anyway. And then scramble, scramble. Eggs off the top. Yep. All right, it's party time. Spike. And then let's see. Does he greed for the kill? Because now he's actually gonna be a little low on power, but. Yeah, he it. gets it. That'll do it. Yep. All right. All right. Kai smacking you with the stun dipper. Smackula, just hold the scrambled eggs. Have an ex stun dipper on curve. So the moral of the story, kids, is always just mash on curve. Always <laughs> just <laughs> mash on curve. <laughs> just mash <True>. on curve. <laughs> this is the true play. Do you remember who went first that game? By the way, I don't that was uh, Kai, because Kai just did the turn one YOLO dive. Oh yeah, kind I think of the turn one die if you're right. I think literally almost all of his strikes like were literally on curve, because that was curve. a turn one dive, and then it was. Like, oh the no! Cross, here it comes. <laughs> oh man! All right, let me get my thinking cap on real quick. Hold on. It's rules time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, will it's he just boy. pull out the bison again? I mean, bison has a funnily similar game plan to Arakune, where he just wants to sit there and build gauge. <laughs> yeah, Garakune wants to sit there and build overdrive. Bison wants to sit there and build uh, gauge, and then they have a party later. Um, I mean, you have other options though. You can play the enchantress. Try and uh, it's it's a little bit of a problem to like zone out Arakune because once Har if you can stop Arakune from getting backside, you're fine. But if Arakune gets the backside, you're not really zoning him. Um, Milia on the other hand, of course, Milia is Milia. She does Milia things. Main thing you're watching out for is uh, don't throw too many of your fasts into the FP then Q and you're fine. Yeah, I think I like Amelia here the most as a pick, but I mean, if uh, if Mickey D's is still okay with Bison, that can work too. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you, you're going to have a brain blast one way or another. Oh, the, and there it is. Dude, are you listening in on the stream live? The Amelia Rage coming out. Amelia Rage. You know, that's actually how you're supposed to pronounce it. Yeah, is that what that is? Yep. 
So yeah, is, that, is that like? Do you uh, even look it up? You can, you can look. It's like it's like allegedly Andre or whatever being pronounced Uno. <laughs> it's it's like the Uno again. <laughs> is that what we're yeah, going? If, with if you look up, if you look up the the actual kanji, <laughs> it's not kanji. It's a uh, katakana for Milia. It's uh, it's Rage. It's Rage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm messing with you. It's not. It's Reiji, but it's Reiji. <laughs> but you totally believed me for a second. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Milia being Milia, about, yeah, Milia like having, having starting a range three here. That's uh, the new text on her. So already we got the turn zero rules and fraction. <laughs> you know what's actually really funny is Bad Moon actually isn't the greatest there. card in the world in the Arcuna. Uh, yeah, nope, not really. I mean, it's nice like if they get like a F inverse, but like yeah, you're not banking on. It. You really just want that to close out, right? Like where yep. just like, four power gets it in, and then you just kill them. That's fine. Yeah, I expect to like uh, if if I'm really like looking at the end game, I'm looking at something like uh, well, even even Bad Moon in the end game is so safe because if P then Q exists, yep. Like because this card exists, it just makes Bad Moon not as great. And then the fact that Arcane just has a bunch of innate guard is also just good for them. And then you also have stuff like F Inverse, where you know you're you're looking to play this where. Um, bad like if you if you just drop this at range two i mean bad moon's just gonna get snuffed out but you have to be careful with your bad moons in this matchup actually it's not as free as like we're normally used to seeing now swing braid on is, the other hand yeah uh, swing braid is pretty scary yeah swing braid arcune doesn't want to get hit by that like ever <laughs> <laughs> nope that that thing will make arcune very sad yeah, the uh, thing is, with if P and Q, is pretty scary, but also the thing is, too, is that, likewise, they have to call it right, because if P and Q on defense loses to, uh, to Milius Ultras, um, and it trades against, you know, like, it loses to Swing Braid, um, it'll trade unfavorably against, uh, Iron Savior, you know, so, so it's definitely, it's not, it's not as, you know, free as if it would be somebody like, say, I don't know, like, Hilda, right? You just throw it out there, and it just cures you. You just go through it. If you alter, you just go through it. And other than that, you just advance out of every other slow she has, right? So it'll it'll be it'll be a brain buster. It'll be a brain buster for sure, I think, for Arcune. And we're getting right into it. we're seeing the turn one, seeing a tandem top. Tandem top, what a good card! All right, there's the tandem top into the block. Arcune says, "I'll take one damage. You get your two cards." Really, he's going to range two. Arcane really doesn't care where you are. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Disjoint Union's cool if you're at range 4 or at range 1, but, uh... Actually, I'm surprised that we he didn't just drop the Disjoint Union, honestly. Oh, uh, still loses to Haircar and still loses to, uh... to, uh, Swing Braid. Yeah, but it, but it, like, uh... Oh, yeah, but, you know, because it still gets, it still gets Arcune as game plan advance, though. That's a nice thing about Disjoint. Here comes a spike into the cross. Crossing now. Range. Four. And here we are once again. Hold this disjoint union. Oh, we're just walking. We're walking just walking one. on up. Why do we walk one? What are we threatening by walking one? Uh, swing braid already hit. The only thing that hits walking here now like is this. bad moon and assault. And well, I guess the other spike if we have it. I don't, I don't really get this walk, or maybe we're just trying to threaten, like, yeah, I guess we do have better th range 3 options, but I mean, at range 4, we're still threatening some stuff. Uh, there it comes the Lush Shaker. Lush Shaker in play. Uh, this is the scary card. This is plus 3, plus 3 power for 3 fours. Millie has a full hand. Uh, don't get stunned. <laughs> yeah, just, just don't eat yeah. the 9 power sleep. It's not good for you. Uh, you don't have a way out of this either. That's the problem. So, yeah, you 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 don't have a way to break sweep and less without spikes. So you're gonna have to make the mix-up call here. And if you call it wrong, you're gonna eat a bajillion damage. Yep, that'll be a many squashed bugs there, but probably not enough. We'll see. <sighs> Arcune, Wall teleport pog. True. Serpent chat. Hi, Serp. <laughs> Dude, you could wall teleport just for funzos. Wall teleport to range 5? No. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, range 5. To range wherever the fuck. Wall teleport to range 5. Get hit by Haircar, the true play. <laughs> wall teleport to get hit by Iron Savior. That's my favorite, actually. Um... Uh... 
Yeah, because uh, you can't really stun Iron Savior either, unfortunately, at this uh, place, unless you land, like, the Omega Giga Brain F piece-wise. And, uh, oh, there oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> yep. Swoop. All right. We're sliding. Well, we're at range five. F piece-wise is not a card at range five. Do we have the EX permutation to just blow up, uh, blow up any option that Millie has at range five? That would be pretty good. I would like that. Yeah, dude just uh, said. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> the May. Wrong character. <laughs> what do you mean? They're both uh they both are really cute, you know? Hell yes. Arcrenate. What's Arcrenate. the difference? Arcrenate's Arcrenate. Arcrenate. Yeah, I mean look at look, I mean, you know. Just look at him. <laughs> look at that cute little mask. Yeah, cute little look, at those, look at those look at those look at those uh spindly arms. Yeah. Like, all I'm saying is that there's there's one cutie on the board right now. I'm sure as hell ain't this fucking hair lady. <laughs> with gross hair. Why would I want to, I want to attack with okay. my hair? Dude? It's gross. We are it's just disgusting. staying at range... Th we're just tossing cards to stay at range 3. Um, Now this is exceeding. Now this is some neutral-ass footsies. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that we haven't drawn a single Mirage yet. Like, in all honesty, I'm very surprised we haven't drawn a single Mirage yet. Yeah, we're just playing. We're just playing footsies with uh, Arcuna here, threatening a million mix-ups. I mean, range three is pretty crazy. So, yep. uh, we tech finally tech the lush shaker. Shit, lush shaker. That makes sense. That's a good tech. Uh, unfortunately, Millie has a million boosts that say plus one speed and stuff that you also want to tech, but we tech the uh, the one that pr takes a million, gives us a million damage. So, yep. we're we're pretty happy with that. Um. I mean, Arcune is probably just chilling out fishing for Forbidden Knowledge, if I had to guess. They haven't played it yet, so I'm guessing they don't have it. There's uh, plus one speed with gain advantage or draw one. Usually gain advantage is the uh, seems to be the pretty normal for love the subhuman self on front side. Yep, because advantage is at the minimum, draw two. <laughs> at the minimum, draw two. The value. Yep. Uh, The main... Unfortunate part for Milia here is we're talking about how Swing Braid's a really good card in this matchup. Swing Braid doesn't really exist if you can't cross over your opponent, so it's just a funny three damage uh, dive. <laughs> a very fast dive. A funny fast three damage dive. Three damage dive. <laughs> well, actually, it's a six dam or a six speed dive now. So this one yeah. we start mashing uh, if P then Q, plus one speed, get baited. That's what I'd do. And then you just eat a spike. Although yeah. this doesn't matter because uh, uh it wouldn't be spike. You need to sweep. You have to advance. Three. You get to advance three. So yeah, you need to sweep. Yep. The card reorganization coming out from Mick Download Mickey D's. Mickey D's. There it is. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yep. Classic. That's what I was the best for. card. And how are we paying for it? Probably from hand. Unless we, unless, actually, we could pay it from the block. From you could the, chuck the block, and the block's pretty bricked. Yeah. In, uh, gauge. But, I mean, it does get you faster. Unless we're seeing... Okay, I was gonna say. Unless we're seeing the raw just move <laughs> with the force instead of doing the permitted knowledge. Alright, we tossed the ir irrationality boost. No more plus one funny range. No more things that hit at nonsense ranges. You know what's actually funny? Is that boost actually pretty good against Melee now that I think about it? Yep, because Melee has a lot of shit that closes in and then it's gonna whiff. <laughs> yeah. Because it's gonna be a range too, yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty pretty funny. But that's uh that's actually the one you toss there. Plus one range is actually pretty good against Melee. Yeah. Cause it allows you to play like the safest dive in the world. Alright, so everybody have have a coffee, you know, grab grab a fucking tea, take a shit. We're gonna be a blue player for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we have one card sealed already. We'll get one card to overdrive, one card to hand, one card to gauge. We grasp getting speed seven. Is it the gauge? Getting the two to yeah. the OD. Putting a F piece wise in OD, that's pretty interesting. F piece wise is usually one of the cards that you keep for later because of uh how good it is for 
Sorry. Yep, funny, uh, just take eight. Yep. Yeah, that's a pretty zero funny six, take, take eight. eight. Yeah. Yep. Zero six four take eight. My favorite stat line. Next two. Yep, ne next draw to one Ar and top deck the other. Yeah. Next to Arakune is uh, one to seven, seven, five, one, five. <laughs> Tee hee, just take seven. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> Tee hee. Tee just play block. Yeah. Or else. All right. Well, we're done with the forbidden knowledge. We're done looking at books. We're halfway there on Arakune's turn. Uh, Amelia thinking about what they want to strike with here. They're going to strike finally at range three with the plus one speed yeah. gain advantage. I mean. Yeah, you pretty much got to call. Is this like wild spike? swing? Well, I mean, it's probably something like. Hey, okay, permutation, permutation actually yeah. works here. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't get broken. I mean, you're not happy about. Oh, actually, you're trading five for five. You don't care about this. Yep. Never mind. And your inevitability is actually a lot better than Milius here. No, yeah, that was a really good wild swing. I liked it. Yeah. Well, not so wild swing because uh, dude intentionally top decked off of forbidden knowledge. Oh, yeah, true. True. He will have to spend two force, um, but if he's got an FP five or something that he doesn't care about, or F inverse rather. Getting rid of the assault, getting rid of the grasp. Getting rid of the grasp. So we're out EX assault. Yep, yeah, I'm getting rid of grasp there is absolutely fine though, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Wait, why do we take so much damage there? Yeah, why are we taking. This should be five for five. Arcanist should be up on life by two, Tamilia. Dude, you can call it. Oh, well, I'll give you the honors. They're discussing something. Yeah. What is happening there? Add. Advantage. Okay. okay cool. Uh, so what are they doing over there? Oh, five for five trade. Yeah. There's like a way for me to check the footage. <laughs> I don't see Pat knows how to check right. the footage. Oh, but I don't know how to, check the footage. to 24 life, please. Because he took, well, what did he take one for, right? He took one from the block, right? Let me go see if I can look. Mm -hmm. Because that was what? Oh, yeah. This party's getting crazy. What? Huh? What? How's this grass? Okay, there we go. All right, I think we're good. And that grass was already in. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Doing the U with the UA. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, we're good. We're good now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I went to try to go back and clip it to see if I could, like, figure out what was going on, and then Arcanine had already adjusted health as soon as the sweep came out anyway, so I'm just like, well, <laughs> that doesn't help me. Yeah, because it was, like, what, 29? Yeah, Arcanine mm -hmm. was at 29. Yep. Because they took, yeah, because they took one from the opening uh, dive or whatever on the block. Yeah. This has been a low damage game. What what else did Milia take damage from? It was uh Cross. Yeah. Yeah. No, Amelia took damage from Cross and then that. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because she got yeah, because yep. she took the three. So it should be an eight. Oh. Yep, uh, we are good. And then we're seeing there is the Mirage, the fabled Mirage off of the advantage. The fabled from Mirage. Nine. And then we're going to say, let's rock. Let's rock. Any Twin Peaks fans? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, I'll teleport saying, number two. Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. F piece wise. Oh, but now we're going to dash in. <laughs> yeah, there's the dash in. All right. Back to range three. Arcuna hanging out. Cancel. Oh, cancel it. Going to force the issue here. Yeah, because the clock is ticking. On the bugs. Oh, he stole a block for Amelia? 
Now we have two blocks in the engage slash overdrive. Yep, which is a little bricky. Uh, yep, we have a premature prep from Arakune, so we're just gonna shuffle those back in because Melee cancelled. Yep, there we go. Alright. There we go. Strike from Milia. There's gotta be a sleeper spike. There is. I mean, that's gonna still be anything, actually, technically. I don't see where you, a world in which you play Bad Moon here unless you're a crazy yep. person. Range 3 Schmix. I feel like you just play the tandem top here because it's insanely safe, unless your opponent has something like EX Dive. Mm -hmm. and... Assault here is also relatively safe. Uh, Since, assault? you know, Arcuna is out EX Assault. Yeah, 5 power Assault does trade yeah. decently well into both the options. Yeah, EX Assault, or assault here is pretty good, or pretty decent. So here's, I mean, you have a lot of good options here. It's just, uh, safer ones are going to be in the names of Assault and Tandem Top, more than likely, here. The Assault can be snuffed out by that if P then Q. <laughs> Not uh, true. Not on defense, it can't. <laughs> That's what makes uh, it good. Yeah, it's not higher speed, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right, you're right. I can't read. At least somebody can read. <laughs> 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 this your brain on season seven, like <laughs> I'm <afraid> of... <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We're thinking. Harkune. Well, we thinking. got a very Arcune's... thinky brainy. Arcune. Yeah. I think Arcune is trying to think about how they are not. How do they do not want to get spiked here? Yep. <laughs> do you Although... want to smash the FP then Q? You're not, like, too terribly upset if you get spiked here. Milia generates two gauge. You go down to 19... 18? Is Math is hard, too. Life. Yeah. Harkuna <laughs> is used to being down life. There's FP the Q. Let's see the assault. Oh, sweet. All right, you're still not too upset about that. Uh, uh, although, that being said, even though you're taking... Yeah, I think you're a bit more upset about this one, to be honest. Sleep? Yeah. Seven damage? Yeah, that's pretty rough. And you have to get rid of a card? That being said... Um, yeah, we do get a couple of, uh, overdrives here. Uh, I guess he's not going to do the hit effect on it, choosing to not. Okay. That's fine. It is optional. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, look, I mean, he could flip on the next turn, uh, which isn't bad at all. But, I mean, you do do have block in there, but still. It is an optional. Yeah. We, li we live in a society <laughs> where Arkune has all these optionals. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kune gonna continue uh, prepping prep. here. <laughs> Although, the real question is why is Arkune at 18 as opposed to 17? Where did the extra, where did the armor come from? Yeah, uh, good point, right? Because that should be, that was a 7 power. Yeah, that was 7 power with grasp. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Good. So that's why we have this very useful. Seven. 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 Yep. Let's rock being in play. Make seven power sweep means that if P then Q takes seven because it doesn't dodge yep. anything. Strike from Milia with cancel. Love the subhuman self. Playing the, the second other one. If P then Q. Yep. Well, that works. That is A-OK. -okay. Not really. That actually sucks. That's a 5 speed, yep. So he's gonna eat a fat 5 here. Yeah, that was played on defense, wasn't it? Oh wait, was that- was that Arcune Strike? Was it? Uh... Yeah, it was, it was, because, uh... Yep. I mean, he's yeah. still gonna eat- he's still gonna eat 5. Yep. yep. Yep, he knows. He's uh, he's mm -hmm. he's tall on download right now. Yeah, because it doesn't dodge. Mm -hmm. It's the same speed. Yep. Uh, 
oh, we got we got a clinic here. We got a lesson. We got to teach we got the, we got the lesson in our crew now. Yeah, we, we're in the classroom teach me, now. Mr. Bug, yeah, we're in the classroom. You know, yeah, he took the advice of his uh, sweetheart, Lychee. Teach me, Miss Lychee. Nah, teach me, our crew now. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> the teach me, Miss Lychee sessions. Oh. Man, you had to teach me our Kune session to just be a bunch of like eldritch glyphs on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what do we so, got? We got 5520073. Five, zero, zero, this is terrible. Uh, this is not a great overdrive. Yeah, but we have. But the bright side Especially is, since we're out. We're, why are we out all of our. We are out all of our 5 speeds. We have so. eight power. We have eight power sweep because of FP swipes, and we have seven power spike and seventy tip powers permutation. And yeah, spike actually hits everywhere too. So this isn't actually too terrible. As terrible as I imagined it. No, well, he won't. He does. He's not gonna have anything for spike though. He needs to match. I mean, okay, so he got the permutation. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm not. I'm not too big on this overdrive. I'm not generally either. because I mean, this is this is four bricks, right? We saw both assaults go down. Uh -huh. um, I guess you do have disjoint, so I think we have not seen a single one. So disjoint's okay, but you still down. have a lower than average uh, amount of um. Yeah, one disjoint. Of things here. Down. Yep. Uh, we should flip our Kunis card to card, but okay. It's okay. We'll flip it here in a second. Right. I'm sure we'll realize soon enough. Yeah. Just so the folks at home can see it. Cross into permutation. Which will get hit. Yep. Arakune will take two. Mm -hmm. Be sure to flip. So this will be the eponymous, the legendary. You know what you love it. Seven. <laughs> the legendary coming to mill seven. <laughs> the legendary se seven sweep a card. And then it gets refunded. So let's see what you got, Milia. So it is party time, even with a subpar uh, composition in your overdrive. All it takes is two, what, like two or three good uh, swings from Arkwood, and you're toast. Uh, notably, we have another F piece wise in the deck somewhere. Right. That's a redundant two speed, but I mean that's a hair card plucked from Amelia's hand. That's think, pretty good. I think we have <laughs> I think we have two sweeps up for our crew, so actually this we do. Too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're probably looking to play F piece wise more than we are uh sweep from this range, but I mean, I mean, <laughs> if the shoe fits, yeah. <laughs> Eight, eight damage sleep is eight damage sleep. Mm. Just like eight damage. No matter how you slice. dice it. Yeah. Just yep. like eight damage of piece slice is eight damage of piece slice. <laughs> All right. Well, now we play the game of Arcane has a bunch of garbage in overdrive, so he really doesn't care if you don't make him do it if you don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes the way is to ironically do the inverse of uh, the typical just run away strategy against uh, exceeded season five characters. Because Arcane has to um, validate, right? So sometimes you actually want to just go hyper aggro into Arcane and just hope that he bricks uh, and doesn't have anything good in hand and just beat him clean because that forces his overdrive to go faster, right? We're, we're having uh, the we're having the teach me Arcane mm -hmm. session again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> minus eight, minus eight range. It does hit. Yep. And he doesn't need to spend any force because that's zero to seven. Minus eight minimum rage hits. Yeah. Mickey D is in disbelief. He's absolutely incredulous that they can print such a character. <laughs> Labergasted, aren't we all? Aren't we all? When you get hit by that uh, eight range uh, or seven range permutation the first time, you're always feeling it. Yep. <laughs> It's even better when it has like the plus one range for some reason because then you have the uh, eight range for mutation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty funny line that you'll probably never see. Maybe against new 13. So not you. Against new. New doesn't even want to be at range eight half the time. No, no she <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> 
Unless yeah, I mean, unless you're really playing that uh, that alpha fear that usually it's just force, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Just wild swings aren't quite fuck it. Just go to no, the races. we're we're looking <laughs> for for seal. Oh, I see. Yeah. Seal the top. He card. didn't like it. It's gone. Yeah. The best part is we'll never know what it is. All right. Uh, Millie has three gauge. Oh, yeah, no. Do we have enough for Septum Voices? Septum Voices only two. Why is Septum vo Voices only two? What is this card? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Dude's just prepping. We got the prep off. Melia with uh with a somewhat resource advantage, but of course you can never count down the X factor. Uh, the good news with the Arakune is a two-way street because you can just burn off these bricked uh, blocks here. Uh, you're still getting some form of value by getting uh, being able to prune your deck, right? So he's gonna find stuff that he likes. He puts the wild swing back on top of the deck. That's notable. Um, is it because he's gonna strike with it, or is it because he's going to boost something and then strike with it later? Um, what are you scared of here? I mean, tandem top? No, tandem top. Yeah, he still gets hit by it. Uh, yeah, and then tandem top does get out of the way. Um, although does... he will still eat of F piece wise if he's got the F piece wise. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking is that uh, he doesn't really have anything here that escapes what needs to be escaped here. Because if he has the other uh, if he has the other disjoint union that's not going to lose to any of these options. If he has the yeah. other um, F piece wise that doesn't lose to any of the options either. Yeah, F piece wise is truly just a Take eight T he <laughs> card right now. Uh, really <laughs> and yeah. I think uh, unless Millia mashes cross, uh, I think she has one cross up, so you could do that. But then that that's a big case of then what, right? So actually, mashing cross on the other side of the map's not terrible right now, though. Just waiting. I mean, out he is Arcune. out both. He is out both teleports. So yeah, you're just waiting out Arcune at that point, which is pretty good for you. I think you are looking to see if the or if uh, Millie has cross or not. Well, he has cross you do have to actually be a little bit scared here but you could call it i think the safest thing for you to play right now is probably just disjoint union if you have it i think that card's just insanely safe right now you have the fives you have another disjoint union if you just play that uh no it's not because iron savior exists that's right yeah that's actually pretty unfortunate yeah you have to just call the mix up here that's it Don't get iron saviored. Although, if your opponent does choose to iron savior, you can just pull it the uh, F piece wise next turn, though. So maybe it's not all too terrible. Except the fact that you're uh, going to be at 5 life afterwards. That's pretty terrible. Alright, Arakune thinking of the options. Uh, main thing that hits here for Milia is. Dive, Tandem, Swing Braid. Wow, look at all these options. Uh, Iron Savior and Septum. Arakune, not as much as he'd like. Arakune also had no fours, so he's not hitting with like a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of the cards that he wants to play here are gone. He's just going to boost defend. Interesting. Really, he's just putting the ball in Melia's court here. Here comes a swing bait boost. Plus one speed. Cancel. What is Melia looking for with this, actually? I mean, you're not looking for Septum Voices of range 3. So I want to think so. Cross is not great here, either. Uh, you're threatening the other spike into the plus two speed F piece wise. Plus one speed F piece wise. Yeah, that's pretty good. In the spider's thread, your fate hangs by a thread. Allow me to sever it. <laughs> what? 
That's that's what that's what Narmaya says. <laughs> that's what Narmaya says. <laughs> Man's in the grand little fantasy realm with Uno. <laughs> Uno, yeah. <laughs> you got me thinking about stupid fucking characters like that. Yeah, Uno. <laughs> with Uno. <laughs> Uno the floating munchkin. Dude does look like a munchkin from Wizard of Oz. You can't tell me that he doesn't. <laughs> it's actual. Alright. Both have peace and keys down. There's... I mean... You just gotta call something here. I mean, what what are we, like, most worried about here? Probably getting... Uh, it, could, it could be... Oh, well, we just... Well, it could be Septum. I don't think we're as worried about getting Septum as we are about being spiked, to be honest. Septum, well, Septum is... is relatively safe here. Um, I mean, pace wise, just gonna be annoying. You're just gonna have to hold yeah. that. But Septum does get out of basically everything else. Yeah. That's so. A good point too. I mean, if this is Septum, what can you play here? You really don't have an answer to Septum, actually, if this is Septum. Other than that, piecewise, yep. Yeah, you have to call the Septum versus Spike mix-up here. You have to call the Everything versus Spike mix-up here. Piecewise, piece let's see if it's a Spike. It's a Spike. So, that's pretty good for him. He's going to have to discard a card from Overdrive. Yeah, he's going to have to spend the five. Yeah. And take five. Milia will advance two off the UA. Uh, this is Milia's game to take. 100%. Yep. Um, Arcone is out of juice here. FP, the eight damage FP slice is gone. Yeah, now all he's got left really is some sweeps, some yeah. bloops, some bleeps. I mean, he's got YOLO reading. I don't think you've seen a single focus from him yet. So is it time to just YOLO read? I don't know. Yeah, if you read. Not wrong. believing in the sweep, getting rid of. Okay, let's see. Is he, will he get rid of the range two or not range two, speed two? Yeah, he is. He did an overdrive trigger for the last strike. He got rid of one of the fives uh, specifically. Yep. But now that it's his turn, will he keep one in the tank for the sweep or? Well, I mean, he has two twos, so I mean. Yeah, he chose to get rid of the five, so he didn't trigger his ability. Yeah. I think the only thing he hasn't been doing is uh, probably looking at or viewing the top card of his deck every time. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one. Oh, peeking at the top of his deck. Yeah, I don't think he's been doing that. I don't think he's been doing that. Although, if a player doesn't peek at the top of their deck when they are supposed to, I just assume that they already know what it is. Arakune is hard. Yeah, this is factual. We, we're, we're all here. <laughs> I still can't believe you guys implemented him into the app, you crazy people. <laughs> Which, honestly, I mean, that is a character that needs it the most with uh, rules enforcement, <laughs> genuinely. True. An EX, EX focus. focus. A brave call, then that will do it. Yeah, that takes it. That will do it. There is Tito. nothing uh, he can do about it. Yep, that was good. You like that? Alright, 15 0. That was a very solid Milia game. Alright. And in the interest of good games journalism, uh, we did make a rather big uh, error, also known as a boner, um, earlier. Remember that uh, dive against uh, if Pete and Q? Oh uh, yeah, that was that was Millia's initiate. So if Pete and Q should have gotten stunned out, uh, that was Millia's initiate. That was Millia's initiate at speed five. Yeah, so if Pete and Q should have gotten stunned out. There. Millia took it anyway, uh, in a somewhat convincing fashion. So all's well that ends well. But that was a pretty big uh, miscalculation there. <laughs> so. So we, and the, another day goes by without another with day goes by. <laughs> Arc when I. Fucking up the program. True. <laughs> All right. Well, now we get to see Biken versus something. Bison versus Biken. Is that what we're about to see? 
Or are we going to see Biken versus, or Bison versus Aracuna? I don't think F9 is the type of person to play the same character twice. I don't believe they've played the same character twice. Will that change today, though? Nah. I mean, Maybe. Biken's a good character, so it's fine if you pull out the bike in here anyways. Yep. We will see the bike in. Dude, dude has had enough of the bug brain burner. That's where I pull out the uh, Battlestar Galactica, so mm -hmm. say we all... <laughs> <laughs> We've all had enough of the bug brain burner. <laughs> it's only been one game, and I've had enough of the bug brain burner. <laughs> Uh. All right, Bison versus Biken. I mean, Kraken Cylons. <laughs> hey, at least you got it, Chico. I'm happy. <laughs> One person got it. Uh, all right, a sec for thinking. Okay. Um, if you really do play the Bison and the Biken here, I mean, you're the one that chooses first, anyways. Uh, I think uh, F9 is just playing Biken. Uh, regardless of what you pick, but I mean, Viking wants you. Viking yeah. just does whatever she wants, dude. Let's be real here. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, just, let's be real here. You know, if, if she'll have a small hand, she'll hit you with EX Yo Johnson. She'll say, Yo Johnson, bro, hold this. Uh, Yo six Johnson. <laughs> just hold this ridiculous move here. And then uh, Kamari is the world's most free round start move you can do. And then. Beyond that, uh, you have to just guess right. You either get counter hit or you just get a uh, hit for a billion. Yeah, Biken just has a good card quality. That's just what it is. Main thing you have to watch out for is uh, with Bison is where you decide to put your Hiragis, because Hiragi uh, does get stomped out by specifically the Ultras. Don't Hiragi the Ultras. Uh, will it? Yeah. I mean, Psycho Punisher, yeah. Uh, Nightmare, and then, yeah, then Nightmare, Nightmare, Booster. Nightmare Booster will not get hit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that being said, hey, I mean, two... <laughs> I'm not saying that it's a good trade, but two armors, two armor. <laughs> Those add up. True. <laughs> um, Viking's game plan is don't let Bison get set up. Make sure your hand's good and ready to go. Bison doesn't have an option for you at range 4 other than, you know, the slows. Uh, especially at round start. So playing Kabari is exactly what you'd expect when you play Kabari. Block into Kabari. Pull 3 gain advantage. Seems a reasonable start to me. There's no reason to make yeah. it plus 2 power. Just gain the just advance 2 gain advantage. Unless you yep. really want Bison to spend the extra card for whatever reason. <laughs> Which, is, is she doing that? I would be surprised, to be honest. I don't like it. Oh, uh, we are. Doing I don't it. like the look of it. Yep, we're just gonna we're just gonna say, you know what, Bison, screw your cards. You're gonna you're gonna have to take you're gonna have to pay the tax here. Oh, Bison, Bison says okay. Yeah, have some bison dollars. Have some bison dollars. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, 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 oh no, we're just key charging it, boo. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the bison. Ah, uh, we have the bison dollars. Bison at full hand. Are you aware of the conversion rate? The conversion rate. Bison doesn't you? know what wealth is. <laughs> Every bison dollar will be worth five British pounds. <laughs> So that's like that's like a twenty that dude that's like a that was like a that's a fifteen pound value man oh, just three yeah. cards and then he gets it to gauge and plus whatever that's worth you know I mean that is value city so this this is this is the inverse of the previous bison this is the educated this is the war profiteering monger <laughs> that we have been looking for for bison war profiteering monger <laughs> all right so main thing here is we don't get the advantage. Bison sitting at full hand, we're sitting at four cards. If we really do want to play four card Biken, you can, but it's so much more gambly. Yep, especially Biken when, uh... has so much stuff that just allows her to put stuff into gauge and then you can cancel immediately after. And such. Like, you don't need to play four or four card Biken. Uh did we just CC zero? 
Hold up. <laughs> oh, tech, okay. <laughs> oh, we tech the plus two power, yeah. I see. Yeah, that's fine. I'm so attuned to the CC0 meme, I'm like, wait, did we just, uh, did we card just one do draw a card? CC zero? zero? Yeah. Good math, we got the tech. Which CC, makes sense. Uh, CC0. If you actually break through, uh, but, uh, Pykin's, uh, whatchamacallit, defenses, then that's really sad for her. So. And with that plus two, Bison could do it. So the main thing I expect to see here is... Not that, but, I mean, that works too. <laughs> um, the main thing I expected to see was just Bison just kind of generate gauge while Biken sits there. And since Biken's playing four-card Biken. Um, main reason being... Yo, Johnson's a good card, but it still gets beaten by sweep. Karate Kawari, you know, it's part of the mix-up if you're at range 1. Like, you, you have, like, these options, but, I mean, it's hard to draw them when you're playing 4-card bike unless you just feel in the bullet today. Bite the bullet, baby. Alright, pull 2, strike. You a. Time to guess. Focus. Focus. Grasp. grasp. Oof. Depression. So much for mashing on curve. <laughs> Whatever happened. Don't take my advice, kids. Never mash on curve. <laughs> Never mash on curve, kids. Alright. Range one again. Uh, Bison can just choose to get set up. I mean... It... Did you ever look at the grasp part on uh, on Biken's grasp? May's having a rough time. <laughs> May's having a rough time. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the part of Viking that didn't get implemented the uh the seat belt the belt <laughs> the seat belt hey safety first kids safety first kids We're if actually... you believe seat belts are made to uh design to uh save lives that is you know what's actually funny is since that we instead of implementing seat space. belt into Exceed, we implemented Kabari twice. Once in her pat, once in her UA, and once in uh, an actual card. <laughs> <laughs> we needed two Kabaris. <laughs> hey, just double down. You know what can I say? Double down. Everybody loves a grapple hook. Everyone loves. Not me. Two. I hate Kabari. That's a fucking annoying ass move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we see Psycho Crusher and Spike go into Gage for Bi or Bison. Makes sense. None of these cards are doing anything at range 1 anyways. Uh, especially at this position. Putting them in Gage is fine. Back to Biken. Biken sitting at 3 cards. I mean, ideally, we, we're at this awkward point where if we're playing 4-card Biken, we want to prep so we have cards in hand, but we don't want to prep because... Uh, He's going to do a Raw Dog Scrambled Eggs. Oh, the mutual wild swing. You'll love to see it. No fear. The mutual wild swing into Bison yeah. at range 1. I mean... Huh. Alright. Oh, sweep for... Psycho Crusher. Didn't really give him the opportunity to crit, but... That is actually... I mean, that's fine-ish. You know, that's a 4 for 6. Yeah. Um, not the best usage of scramble there, if you ask me. You know, that's you don't want to see something like that happen. Where yeah, you go up two life in a card, you sweep them, but um, yeah, oh, unless you it, it just god, got better, unless you yeah. get the god full off sweep. So you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I take it back. That was a really good, that was a really good scramble. That went from a that went from an okay scramble to a great scramble. That was a good. That yeah. All right, EX. That's what we call the season Wait. six parry. Wait, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, so this is not okay. What are we doing? Head stomping. Is this EX sliding kick or is this EX head stomp? So a power head with a crit, or we could just be trolling. We could just be uh, bluffing the crits, you know. No fear. Should have felt it. Should have feared it. Take seven. Take seven. Question has a mandatory plus two, and then you get to choose if you want to move or not, which you will. Taking starting positions almost. Um, Biking down eight or seven. Not that Biking can't bring it back. I mean, Mirror the World does exist and is a crazy card, but not where we wanted that. Seven. Uh. All right, we pulled them into our face, and we're playing two-card Viken now. What do we have? Slowly but surely, here? we're going down. Are we just Is playing the a... character Kawari just to, like, 
go crazy and get back. I mean, a, mi- a mix is a mix at this point. EX nice sweep. sweep. Yo, Johnson. That ain't it. Uh, that ain't it. Gonna take... S- oh, there it is again. Don't have to play it. Should I play it? Play what? Have it. <laughs> oh, the duck. The duck or... Seven! <laughs> He took the appropriate amount of damage. She took all five. Uh, Sitting at 17 to 8. I mean, Bison has everything he needs on deck and can just prep now. Or will strike because you have no cards in hand. Yeah, like, what are you going to do about it? Hey, that was a really cute scramble he had there before. How about you yeah. strike with no cards in hand? And <laughs> it's just like a scramble. <laughs> I'm not a really fan of how this, like, uh, this, this game's really going here. Um, well, Download's got to make a decision. Do they want to get some more cards for, you know, purposes, or does... Or they just I say screw this, step on the gas, yeah! <laughs> Alright, sure. Lightning kick, six yep. power. Six incoming. Like, you really goes... can't afford to take, to take that much here. Even going down to six feels pretty bad here. Everything feels pretty bad here, actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they lose. Yeah, you're okay, you gotta take page. nothing. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep, no bike. Yep, we're, we're close to the barren glory here. <laughs> oh, uh, really no cards in hand, no struggle. cards engaged. Yep, oh and then God. here comes a silly nightmare booster. There's yep, and then that, that will really hurt. There's five with advantage. <laughs> Six with advantage. Why doesn't that? No, that yeah, puts it down to two. We're almost dead. Yep. And then we prep on. Uh... In the face. We prep with advantage, make some. Biking goes up And as Biken really sucks when you're low on life, uh, that's that's one of her actual point of weaknesses is that once you're low on life on Biken, uh, all your counter hit shit will not do it because you're just gonna die. Yeah. So she's she's kinda playing uh with uh, one arm cut off if you catch my drift, you know. Yeah. The problem is, Biken doesn't really have any way to, like, if, if uh, Sweep just gets, or uh, Focus just gets dropped here, there's no way Biken can deal with it without EX character Kawari. It's just not or a thing. A or dive. One. Yep, just gonna play badass the Season 6 way. We call that a superior way of playing it. A superior way of playing it. Uh, because it's called superior. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, now Focus isn't as safe because character Kawari exists, but, uh... You know, it's pretty safe when you're up this much life. Grasp. <laughs> there it is. He said the line. Everybody he go said, home. Everybody <laughs> Just go. grasp. Just grasp. He yeah. said it. Thank you. Thank you. you. Guys got two health left. Grasp is uh, pretty dang safe. One Except focus is down. The Biken's grasp. Oh, do tech it. Do tech the superior. <laughs> yeah. Superior getting teched. It's, uh, it's good. I mean, it makes sure character Kawari doesn't do anything. Now we're back in the same situation where Bison drops the uh, focus. If you don't have grasp, you blow up. Even if you have grasp, you blow up. You just have to, like, or not really grasp, make the uh, What's like, it? Character core. Or, no, not character core. What, what's the card? Of dive. 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 Yeah, like the yeah. YOLO range one dive. <laughs> just to get out of a slow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the problem. Is yeah. uh you gotta focus or dive, and if you focus and you get a uh, sweat, or actually, if you focus into anything, you die. So focus isn't even safe, except for against grasp. Yeah, the only thing you can really do is like what? Yeah, not nothing. You not don't even have enough for Surane if you're trying to call out a fast. You live with the, like an ex Hiragi, but then you're still really sad about that <laughs> because then you just take nothing to live, you know? Take nothing to live. You do no damage, uh, then you live, but, uh, it's, uh, not looking too good for biking here. Was this... Oh, Speaking this of... Is, uh, draw one, take another Hidden action. weapon. Hidden weapon, yep. It's a Tommy Geish. Yeah, I've learned, uh, I, I had to learn the hard way a few times, uh, that forehand biking isn't the, uh, isn't always great. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone that's played Vikings been there at least once. Scrambled eggs. All right, what are we doing? All right, well, I 
Oh, yeah, just draw the, just grab the top. Actually, oh, he's he's debating on crit. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, he's debating on crit. You you really don't need to, honestly, at this rate. But like, you could yellow it to be funny. Assault. Oh my god, so sad. <laughs> Wait, did we? Why did we play the Kavari from? Hey I I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> GG, I guess. <laughs> what? Wow, we 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 play the 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 biggest brain, uh, Rage One Kavari, <laughs> to close us out there. All right. GG's, well, I guess. GGIG. Yep, that was a that was a long winter way of scooping. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that was interesting. So thank you for coming out, everybody, and hanging out. And uh, for some exceed, uh, download will take it two one over F nine, and we'll move on in the tourney. And uh, thank you for joining me, Donut. Do you have any oh. final words for that wonderful Kabari Range one? <laughs> I'll say thank you for playing. You know, it happens to the best of us. Uh, it, it is most certainly a fighting game. You know, execution is everything. I mean, genuinely, um, I, I cannot rationalize the Kabari play. But um, that being said, you know, uh, it's easy to sit here in the booth and say, like, oh, you know, what are you doing? But, I mean, when the pressure's on, when things are going down, you know, even just simply as simple as a little number in a corner, right? Uh, there's a lot of stats to track. So, so stuff like that does happen. It's happened to me multiple times. You know, I, I am far from one to talk uh, with my infamous make the right reading into plays where that loses to the read. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, shit like that happens. And then you just see, like, you know, when the momentum builds and builds, uh, it gets really difficult. Uh, just not only in terms of stats and numbers, but in terms of the mental stack as well. So, let that be a lesson, kids. Uh, don't, don't drink and play Exceed. <laughs> don't drink and play Exceed. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, thank yeah. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for coming out, Dona. Have a good rest of your night, and uh, we have leakage, so we may have another game on Monday. So hopefully that happens. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. All right. Good night.